Uh, honestly, I'm eating better here than I did at home. <laughs> uh, people are very generous. The teachers have been coming by and bringing food. Um, some of the people in the cafe have been bringing food out. I think the, the student government has uh, delivered some of the food that would normally get thrown out. So that's pretty awesome. I can never get my job to do that. The food, I, I think, is like a, um, probably the core, core focus of living. And I've just noticed at the camp that overall the food's just been very healthy and also uh, very diverse. Like, I've never heard of koosh koosh, mm -hmm. but that's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's going to be a part of my diet from now on. We honestly don't get as much uh, vegetables, I think, but I'm trying to rectify that tonight. I'm doing a squash spinach koosh koosh, which I just learned how to cook, so I'm going to go for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think one teacher donated salad, but overall I've seen a lot of like uh, beans and rice. Um, uh, tomorrow my tent mate is going to be making uh, pasoli. He's going to do a meat pasoli because it's usually it's multiple different meats, and then he's going to do a vegetarian pasoli as well. So it's going to have like a conscious of everyone's diet. I had a couple people donate food. Um, uh, that are actually in the camp because since they're they're not buying groceries at their home right now, they thought it would it would definitely be beneficial to try to uh, reduce uh, expenses for the students, but also it's just kind of a way to to let them know there is a community out here, and we don't want them to feel like they just need to like awkwardly run past us, like support us or not. We we just want everyone to kind of hang out and be here. We don't want to deter them. This is their area. Now we are kind of um, mostly uh, eating off of donations, um, which you know are coming from all sorts of different places. You know, we get donations from the farmers market here at school, um, and we also you know get like stuff that people buy at the grocery store or at the liquor store. You know, um, but just in being here to bring up those issues, you just have the space to think of different ways of eating, the different possibilities that we could um, create with all this space that we have here um, that we really don't utilize to feed ourselves. Um, when I walk by, if you're ever hungry 24 hours a day, come here. Because we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. And even if no one's cooking, you can just check out our kitchen, make yourself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and it's here. And as long as maybe you bring a can of pasta or a leftover slice of pizza or like whatever, you know, as long as everyone like has that, um, cultivates that sense of reciprocity within themselves, then we can all continue eating for free forever. And that's why it's a threat to the system, because they want us to pay to live, and we're seeing that it doesn't have to be like that. That's basically all I have to say about food. <laughs>